Seals play an important role in the wheel bearing system. They keep lubricant within the bearing. They keep contaminants out, and some seals help maintain pressure within a system. A seal can keep a bearing sealed, but if it creates too much friction, it can hurt fuel economy by increasing rolling resistance. To reduce friction, many seals are using new materials and lip designs to seal the bearing. Some newer seals are fabricated using specialty compounds and proprietary materials. The materials can remain flexible under a wide variety of conditions and won't be degraded by the grease inside the hub for many miles. The materials also are designed to withstand countless heat cycles. Most seals today are termed lip seals because they have a lip that rides against the outside diameter of a shaft. The lip is bonded to a metal shell that fits into the bore of the component to be sealed. A garter spring fits in a groove behind the lip to help the lip maintain contact with the shaft. Sometimes you'll find a bead of sealer around the outside diameter of the shell to help seal the metal shell to the bore in which the seal is installed. For some seals, the metal shell is completely covered with the same material from which the lip itself is made. As a rule, wheel bearing seals should never leak. Any signs of a current leak or previous leaks is a sign that the seal has failed. One of the more common reasons for premature failure of a new seal is improper installation. Signs of failure from improper installation could include torn lips, dents from using the wrong installation tools, misalignment, cocked installation, burr damage, and a missing garter spring. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.